Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Weekly Awakening. My name is Tarak Uday with Awaken Within, and we're going to continue this series on the most common dreams. So the fifth most common dream is a dream about sex. And the fourth most common dream are dreams with snakes in them. That's very common for a lot of people. Another common dream, the third most common dream, is being back in school or, or some type of school dream. The second most common dream, which is what we'll focus on today, which is what I get, get almost the majority of the time when I'm asked to interpret a dream, is teeth falling out whenever teeth fall out in a dream. And the most common dream is running from something or hiding from something, which we'll look at in the next video. So if you've ever had those dreams, you know, check those out, uh, you know, get a little more insight into what what those dreams are trying to tell you, especially if you've had it recently. Or if you want to learn more about dream interpretation and learning how to interpret your own dreams, you can either check out my book, Life is But a Dream, Understanding Yourself Through Understanding Your Dreams by Tarak Uday. Uh, you can find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Uh, maybe even in your local bookstore. and uh, Or you can uh, shoot me a DM and join my mentorship program in T where I mentor people on dream interpretation and how to interpret their dreams. They can I'll interpret their dreams regularly until they kind of get the hang of it and then teach them how to interpret their dreams. And then they're just interpreting their dreams and I'm adding to it. Until, and then they start interpreting other people's dreams until you kind of work your way into becoming someone who understands this language because it's a language. And that's what we'll get into a little bit today is that, that this is a language from your inner mind, your subconscious conscious mind to your outer mind. So it's a language of the mind. So when you look at the universalities of these, this language, which is a language of images, then you begin to understand what those images are portraying, what they're pointing to. And then you can identify exactly what in your life this message is kind of there, this message is here for. And so with dreams, a couple of things to remember is that yes, these are messages to you and that these are messages about you. Everything in the dream is about you. That's because every person, place, or thing in the dream is an aspect of your own consciousness. So to understand what teeth falling out in a dream means, you'll have to understand what teeth represent. And so teeth in the in the physical waking life Teeth help us to break down our food. That's the primary purpose, to break down our food so that our body can then digest the food. And then once the, the food is digested, then the body can extract the nutrients out of the food. Those nutrients become a permanent part of our self, the bones, the organs, the, the tissue, you know, the, the ligaments, your eyes, everything comes from that nutrients from the food and, and water that you consume. Then once, you're, once your body does that, then it's able to let go of and excrete the waste, you know, the parts that you don't don't need. And so just like that, our life, we approach life in that way. Hopefully, um, ideally we do through learning the lessons from our life experiences. You know, well, if, if, if me and my significant other had get into an argument and, you know, um, and I go walking away from it, then, and I don't learn anything from it, then that can, you know, be very toxic and to our relationship and to myself. But if I take a moment and kind of break down what happened, like, okay, yeah, I don't feel like I was being heard. She wasn't listening to anything I said. But at the same time, you know, I wasn't really listening to her either because I was just trying to focus on getting my view across. Okay, I need to learn a little bit more about how to communicate here. And half of communicating is listening. Okay. You know, and so you kind of start to break it down. Then when you break it down, you've identified what you can learn. I can learn how to communicate better. I need to listen better. I need to like receive the other person's thoughts and feelings um, so that I can then, you know, understand more and more accurately express what I feel and think. And so then once you do that, then, and then you start to actually pull out the learning and the lessons. And when you do that, then you can let go of the waste. Like, okay. Okay, so maybe I did have a big part in this and, and maybe she's having the same thing as, you know, she's not feeling heard. And so that's why, you know, she's not hearing me. Okay, and so now I can let go of the actual argument and it's not toxic to myself anymore. You know, it's like if you take it, if you never take a shit, it's going to become toxic to you. So if you never let this go and let it out, then it's also going to become toxic to you. And so the very first step in all of that is breaking down the life experience, you know, using your teeth chew on it for a minute. Let me chew on this for a minute. You know, the universal language of mind is in all of these little idioms within our, within our language. You know, let me, let me chew on this for a minute. You know, um, let me break this down. Let me break it down so I can identify what's good and what's not, you know, what do I need to hold on to and what do I need to let go of? Let me, let me chew on this for a minute so I can actually digest what happened, you know? And so, uh, the age old saying of, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Is, is very true in a dream like this, where like you're losing your teeth. 
You know, you're not using these tools that you have to break down your life experiences. One of the main tools that I use um, and that I see available to everyone is dreams because dreams are showing you what's going on within your consciousness, within your life experiences. And so it'll be a great tool to uh, break down what's going on. Assimilation, um, concentration is a very good tool as well. You know, so these are the kind of tools that you want to look at. Like, am I utilizing these? How well am I utilizing these if, if my teeth are falling out? You know, and so... You know, what else happens? Is there, are the teeth falling out into your hands? Are they falling out onto the floor? Are they just like, are there, are, there, are they just a couple teeth, you know, or one or two teeth? Or is it, you know, 70 teeth just pouring out of your mouth, you know? <laughs> and I, I mean, I've had people have that kind of dream too. So, you know, anything's possible in a dream, as I'm sure you've maybe experienced. So those are the kind of things you want to look at. But when any, anytime, anytime that uh, this dream comes out, essentially the main thing you want to look at is, Am I breaking down my life experiences? Am I having a hard time swallowing something that's occurred to me or with me or in my life? And let me take time out to kind of break that down and examine what's really there. What can I learn from this? What can I learn about myself? Not really like, what can I learn? Like, oh, I need to learn to keep away from that person. But like, what are you, what are you learning about yourself? How can you grow and progress as a person, as an individual through this experience, you know? And so those, that's kind of what you want to look at when you have a dream like this. So I hope this helps, um, you know, check out more video. We have more videos with other symbols. If there's a symbol that you had in a dream that you don't see in the videos, you know, shoot me an email, send me, leave me a comment, let me know. And we'll see about getting that video put up for you. So you can kind of learn more about yourself, more, more about your dreams, but, uh, I hope this helps. And as always, I leave you in peace.